The Battle of Tomasa Lebelski took place from 18 September to 20 September 1939 near the town of Tomasa Lebelski. It was the second largest battle of the invasion of Poland and also the largest tank battle of the campaign. It resulted in the surrender of Army Krakow on 20 September 1939. The battle can be divided into two phases, from 19 to 20 September and from 21 to 26 September. They are often referred to in French sources as the First and Second Battle of Tomasau, respectively. Chapter 1 First Phase In the first phase, Polish forces, composed of Army Lublin and Army Krakow under General Piska attempted to break through the German positions around Tomasau towards the Romanian bridgehead area. Both armies' forces on September 15, in the area southwest of Frampol. Their road towards south was blocked, however, by two German corps, eight Army Corps, and by 22 Panzer Corps, consisting of 2nd Panzer Division and 4th Light Division. Polish forces, concentrated around Frampol, were surrounded by six to seven German divisions. Since neither Army Krakow, nor Army Lublin had any aircraft, General Antoni Silling, commander of Army Krakow, decided to risk and attack the Germans, without knowing their real strength. He knew that Panzer forces had already approached Rawa Ruska, and hoped that their units would be stretched along the road from Yaroslav to Rawa. Polish forces included one of the largest Polish armoured units of that time, the Warsaw Armoured Motorized Brigade, and Schilling, together with General Piska, decided that the Warsaw Brigade would make a demonstration attack on Tomasau, drawing the attention of the Germans. Joined Polish forces were made of five infantry divisions, 3rd, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and 55th. Furthermore, they consisted of 1st Mountain Brigade, Krakow Cavalry Brigade, and Warsaw Armored Motorized Brigade. However, after days of heavy fighting, Polish units were reduced to 30 to 50 percent of their original strength, lacking batteries, anti-tank ammunition and controllers. Furthermore, communication between separate divisions was strong, and they had no lots of support, which was a huge advantage, as they had an idea about movements and location of German forces. These plans, however, were quickly changed, after the Germans destroyed key Polish unit, 21st Mountain Division near the village of Dzikowiec, on September 15-16, killing General Józef Kostron. General Piska, realizing that German forces were stronger than he had thought, decided to act quickly, without waiting for all his divisions to concentrate. On September 17, he ordered Warsaw Armored Motorized Brigade to attack Tomasau and keep the town until main forces of Army Krakow joined the brigade. Tomasau was attacked on September 18 in the morning, and by 1 p.m. half of the town was in Polish hands. Meanwhile, however, 4th Light Division joined the battle, striking rear Polish units and forcing them to withdraw. Thus, the attempt to capture Tomasau in a surprise attack, failed. In the night of September 18-19, Warsaw Brigade, supported by infantry of 23rd and 55th Divisions, attacked Tomasau again, but without success. Third attack took place in the night of September 19-20, but Polish units were disorganized and demoralized. After a series of chaotic skirmishes, with number of killed and wounded growing, and ammunition shrinking, General Piska decided to surrender. Some 11,000 Polish soldiers were captured, with small groups managing to hide in forests. Meanwhile, Operational Group Boruta, which was part of Army Krakow, separated from main Polish forces and marched towards Naul. Surrounded by Germans, Polish units were destroyed one by one. Some managed to reach the area of Rawa Ruska, where 3,000 soldiers surrendered on September 20, ending this phase of the battle. Chapter 2 Second Phase The second phase involved Polish units from the so called Northern Front, remaining elements of Army Lublin, Army Modlin, and operational groups Wyskow. Narov and Novogrodska Cavalry Brigade under Generals Emil Krukais Przedwzimierski and Stefan Dab Bionotsky. On September 20, 
these forces were some 40 kilometers north of Tomasau, in the area of Sitonayak. General Dab Bionotsky, who commanded them, until the final hours had no idea about the ongoing battle and did not help fighting troops. At the same time, General Piska did not know about Dab Bionotsky's units operating northeast of Tomasau. Altogether, forces of Northern Front had 39,000 soldiers and 225 cannons. They were divided into three groups, cavalry of General Vladislav Anders, operational group of General Jan Krzyzewski, and operational group of General Emil Krukais Przedrzymierski. Polish forces were no match to German 10th Army and 14th Army, guarding the roads to the south, but General Dab Bionotsky, at a meeting of his officers on September 18 in the village of Wesk Duzania Helm, decided to go along with an attempt to break to Hungary or Romania. Dab Bionotsky already knew that Red Army had invaded Poland the day before, so time was of crucial importance. Northern Front forces marched southwards from the area of Helm in two columns, towards Zamask, which Dab Bionotsky decided to attack. On September 18, Poles attacked Krasnystor, but failed to capture it. On next day, Dab Bionotsky ordered the attack on Zamask to be carried out on September 20, but in the night of Sept 1920, he found out about the ongoing battle of Tomasau Lebelski and decided to help. Northern Front units headed towards Tomasau, but on September 20 in the evening, they were attacked by 4th Light Division and 27th Infantry Division near Chesniki. Meanwhile, units of operational group of General Emil Krukais Przedrzymierski reached the area of Tomasau, and on September 21, a few hours the first phase of the battle had ended, attacked troops under command of General Ernst Busch. Since Polish forces proved to be stronger than expected, Field Marshal Wilhelm List decided to send reinforcements to General Busch, 68th Infantry Division, 27th ID, and 2nd Panzer Division, which had just mopped Polish forces in the first phase of the Battle of Tomasau Lebelski. In the evening of September 22, cavalry of General Władysław Anders attacked, capturing Krasnystor, and then reaching Samba. Other Polish units were not successful, and in several skirmishes were surrounded on September 23rd. General Dab Bionotsky ordered his officers to capitulate, escaped the encirclement, and left Poland, ending up in France. General Przedrzymierski refused to obey the order, and on September 24 attacked Krasnobrod, but then was stopped by 8th Jäger Division. Most of the remaining Polish forces capitulated around the 26th of September. Chapter 3, Order of Battle 